Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today for the user meeting for October. Today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the JIRA and learning how to create an issue, request an improvement, or report a bug. Without further ado, we'll do a quick introduction of everyone. Thank you all so much for the introductions. Nice to have everyone on board. We appreciate it. And a few announcements from our community. Our 2016 roadmap is currently in development. This is developed based on feedback we received from surveys that Ed has been sending out on our list of JIRA requests and on uh, input from our partner council. All of this gets massaged and put into an orderly fashion and becomes our roadmap, which we'll, I'm gonna go through a little bit of that procedure later on in, in today's meeting. On November the 5th, we are participating in a global event, we being the MIFOS community. And what that is, is we will be hosting a roundtable meeting, and this roundtable will be dis further discussion of our 2016 roadmap, and it is in conjunction with ASEAN's FI 2020 initiatives. So all around the world, various organizations, all committed to financial inclusion, are doing some sort of event or another to get on track. Uh, our next major release of the MIFOS X platform will be 15.12, and it's due out approximately 10 December. And of course, all the announcements around that and a demo of new features will be done at that time. Alrighty. So without further ado, let's go into how you do a feature request for the MIFOS X platform. First, I always like to point out where we have documentation. This is in our wiki pages under the community engagement, and we have our community processes. First process, of course, is to create a feature request. We vote, so on and so <laughs> forth. Let me pull up, well, shoot. Um, let me open up our, the JIRA. This is Mifos Forge. Dot jira dot com. This is what you will see. This is our default system dashboard. Some of you will have a different system dashboard available. If you have created one yourself, your own creation will come up to the top You know, as you log in. But prior to login, this is what you see. And you can always navigate over to your system dashboard on here. It's a little welcome. This is our voting queue, which we're going to be getting into shortly about how to use that voting queue. It's just a little information about our, this system. First thing you do is log in. If you have not created your account, please do so, because your input is critical to the process of the MIFOS community. Now, creating an issue is really easy. See this button right here that's highlighted, and that is the default. You simply create, you click on create. The project is MIFOS X. The issue type could be a bug report, it could be an improvement, or you could be requesting a new feature. For this, we're just going to call this a sample new feature. Uh, if I can hit the letter N. <laughs> And the priority, is this kind of a, it'd be nice to have? It, would it be a nice little enhancement? Is it major? Is it really impacting your organization? Is it critical? Put your priority in there as you see it. Some, some of these are just kind of nice to have features. Your implementation priority, we all, we all follow the must, could, should, won't format. And, you know, if it's minor, it's like, well, we should do this, or maybe we could do this, it would make it nicer. Uh, this implementation priority gets looked at during the triage and can change. If you have a hard due date, 
enter your due date. If you do not have a hard due date, skip it. And what components of the system is your sample new feature or your improvement affecting? Is it the user interface? Maybe. Is it maybe the loan? Is it maybe you know savings? It, whatever it is, put your component here. These the labels populate. The version that it affects is typically the current version of the platform. Because you've noticed, you know, you, you see the features not there, you see a feature that needs improvement, you've seen a bug, and it's usually in the current release. The fixed version, you can put in the fixed version or you know, we, we do adjust this as part of the road mapping process and part of the development planning process. And we do have our four major quor quarterly releases. So maybe you'd like to see it in the next regular quarterly release. Maybe during the triage process, we look at the workload, we look at the development process, and maybe we need to change that out to the next major release. All of this is documented along in there. Um, the assignee, you typically leave blank unless it's a feature that you're reporting that you as a developer would like to work on, then you can assign this. But otherwise, uh, our dev team assigns out the, the development processes. The reporter always defaults to you. It's your username. We typically skip over environment and go to the description. And here you want to enter as much detail as possible so that your request is understood. We know where it falls. We know what your expectations are to go along with this description. Maybe you have files, you have screenshots. Maybe you have highlighted some information on a screenshot, made notes. Maybe you have a complete mock-up. Maybe you have an additional document. You drop this right in here. And then we look at all of that. Perhaps you have written, you know, you want to tie this to a sample or <clears throat> put that in there. And of course, we look at it. The team, we decide on team during the triage process, the default is four. The labels, again, if this is, a, you know, if this is a loan, maybe it has to do with loan cycle, I don't know. Um, maybe it has to do with something else. You put labels in there that relate to your issue. And if it's something that the community needs to vote on so that we know how to prioritize it on in the development, cycle, we'll put in, put on a, <clears throat> a candidate label. That tells us what's going to fall into the voting queue. The epic and the sprints, our uh, dev team typically completes those. So when reporting or requesting a new feature or an enhancement, that's all you do. If you're reporting a bug, in the issue type, you do the drop down and say bug. And again, the priority is is it a nuisance or is this a business blocker? Is this real is this having a negative impact right now today on your functionality? Uh, and again, the rest of the information falls into place. Maybe you don't want a fixed version because if it's a blocker, you want it right away. These bugs get looked at by our core development team on a daily basis. Uh, business stoppers are verified. They're, 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 look, they're looked at and resolved as soon as humanly possible based on the impact. And that is all you need to do when to create an issue to get make a feature request and so on. Now I'm going to cancel all this because I don't want the, you know, junk up the, you know, 
junk up the queue. What happens with all of these is we look at, we being the product management team of the Mifos community, meets on a no less than weekly basis, and we go through all of the issues. And one by one, we go through and look at what's there. And this one, you can see we've already put this up for voting. And this is a major improvement. So we review the description, we review the information. This is that detail box. And this one is beautifully detailed. So that, this is great. We also have screenshots to help us along the way. Um, there are no, no comments have been put on here yet, but if we wanna ask a question, if we have a comment, we go, uh, you know, maybe, I'll, maybe I need some clarification. So I send that to the reporter typically. And in the triage process, we've gone, okay, this is who's reporting it. So we know that. And something I failed to mention in the beginning, it affects the UI. And we want to know how this is impacting the, the community because we probably should have this somewhere. To get it into the next voting queue in the triage process, we would go, we would put it there. And what you see then on your system dashboard this is a filter so that we know all of the issues that we triage, what we expect to see in 16.03, and we need to know from the community how important this information is. So we need to have people review and vote. Um, you know, maybe we need to know this, this was reported by these people here. Do I, do I agree? Yes, this is going to have a positive impact on me. There you go. Vote right there. And I'm going to remove my vote so I don't skew the results. And if you go back to your system dashboard, we can easily see then, and we, we'll sort these on, you know, on the number of votes and all sorts of good things. But we're going to be asking the community to go through and vote on issues. Now, you can vote on any issue. It's not necessarily related to the next release. This is just a tool to help the product management team sort what needs to come up. But if you look at your issues list, you can go through all of these, and regardless if it's on the next release cycle or not, you can see this fixed version, it's not listed. And maybe this is something you're interested in and you say yes, you vote for it. That tells the product management team what's, what's important to the community. And that feedback is critical because we are in fact a community driven initiative and your voice is the one that drives us. So voice, so chime up. Um, what else did I, I wanted to go over? That was pretty much it for what I wanted to cover today in terms of how to report an issue, how to report a bug, how to vote on issues, and what happens during the triage process. And as I said, we, we look at all the new issues on a weekly basis. We get additional feedback. We get additional details, and then those items that need the community involvement, we put a candidate label on so that there's voting that we absolutely track. You, of course, can vote for any issue, and we do encourage voting on any issues. So that's it in a nutshell. Do we have any kind of questions to address after that? Okay, well, I thank you so much for joining us today. And as we mentioned earlier, you'll be receiving emails asking for voting. You'll be, it, when you do 
open issues, you'll more likely than not get some kind of response back. All of your issues, you know, you do they do track. You get emails, automated emails for your issues. And that's about it. So until next time, thank you very much. We'll see you later.